there are a lot of new developments in the NetSuite community. And to find out what exactly is happening and what new announcement NetSuite is making, I decided to come to Sweet World 2023 to find out. And more importantly, I want to ask a bunch of experts and a bunch of participants at the conference what they're most excited about in the NetSuite community. So let's check it out. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach the third stage of digital transformation success. And I'm here at Sweet World here in Las Vegas in 2023. And I wanted to come to this conference to learn more about NetSuite and some of the developments in the NetSuite community. Now, my company, Third Stage, is not affiliated with NetSuite. However, a lot of our clients evaluate and ultimately implement NetSuite. So I wanted to find out more about what's happening in the NetSuite community and to find out not, on my, not only am I attending keynote sessions, but I'm also going to ask a bunch of participants here at the conference what they're most excited about in the NetSuite community. So let's go check it out. All right, I'm here with Stefan from Flowcast. Um, first, Stefan, tell me about Flowcast. What does Flowcast do? So Flowcast is an accounting workflow platform. So we kind of automate your entire uh, accounting ecosystem, starting with your close as a centerpiece, connecting that to your operations and to your compliance programs. So you can see everything in one place and really operationalize your team. And what I mean by that is you can really see specifically what everybody's doing, when they're doing it. And then you can use the data from that to kind of really track and manage your team with deeper insights. Great. So here at the Sweet World Conference, what big development or big news are you most excited about in the ecosystem right now? Well, I think Evan uh, dropped a lot of good information yesterday uh, that we were super excited about. But what really caught my eye, just as a accountant myself and former user of NetSuite, was the AI implementation that they're kind of rolling out, the whole suite up um, framework coming out soon. I think the way it really took a classic skill set that accountants struggle with, which is communication, writing, all that kind of stuff, and uh, streamline the process, gave you something tangible to work with. Uh, so you didn't have to do all that work, really get your team not focusing on how to do maybe a mundane task and focus more on driving strategy and value within the organization. Yeah, true, true automation. And that's something we try to match at Flowcast with similar functionality. Great. Well, great. Thank you. So I'm here with Kevin from Soligo. And Kevin, tell me a little bit about what Soligo does, first of all. So Soligo actually helps our customers with integrating multiple SaaS applications and really simplifying what does that integration cycle look like and trying to take and actually get the business value so that you can maximize your investment in this ecosystem. Okay, sort of an integration Absolutely. type of tool set. Great. So in at the NetSuite conference here so far, what is the development in the ecosystem that you're most excited about right now? You know, the biggest thing I, I would say for me is what we're going on in the AI world. We are seeing a fundamental shift in how do we actually work with our end users and everybody is now looking for an easier, faster approach. And to me, AI is absolutely all over that space. Right, that is a big deal. And they've been talking a lot about it here at the conference yes, so far. So I'm here with Emily from High Radius. And Emily, first of all, tell us what High Radius does. Okay, so High Radius, um, we are the autonomous finance platform for the office of the CFO. And our three main focus areas, I would say, are order to cash, record to report, and treasury. And this is to optimize your working capital, reduce your cash buffer, and also reduce your month in close. So we're obviously here at Sweet World, and yes. there's been a lot of developments and announcements. What are you most excited about in the NetSuite community right now? I think I'm most excited, I mean, considering I am in the AI world, um, I would definitely say diving more into automation. I think it is the future, um, and I do think that this year it's been really interesting to see how many people have come out that are either current NetSuite users, prospecting, or just really looking into what's coming out for AI. So it's very interesting. I know one of the first keynotes people kept talking about how you know crazy it is that that's our future. AI, that's our future. Um, so it's just very interesting to hear that that's where everyone's attention is at the moment. So looking forward to seeing what there's that's going to be coming out with in the future. Yeah, it's exciting stuff yeah. for sure. Yes. So I'm here with Evan from NetSuite. And Evan, you don't just work for NetSuite. You're the guy that actually started the company, right? That's correct. 
back in 1998. It's been 25 years. Five years ago. Way to make me feel old because nah. I remember it as we started and I was in grad school in, in 98. So uh, nah. good, to, good to meet you. What, uh, what can you tell me about Larry Ellison? Uh, he's a visionary. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's it was a cloud. Right. <laughs> my real question for you, though, is you've made a lot of announcements. You and your team have made a lot of announcements here at Sweet World. What's the couple of them or what, what, what are the highlights of the announcements you guys are making in the direction you're going as a company? Unsurprisingly, it comes down to actually four letters. The first one I'm sure many of the people you talk to are saying is AI. The other one that I'm super excited about is UI. And um, they really go together. Um, the next generation user experience in NetSuite is going to incorporate AI to make it easier to use, easier to consume the information, get advice and assistance right where you're using NetSuite uh, to help you grow your business better. Great. So I'm here with Eric from True Commerce. Eric, first of all, tell me what True Commerce does. True Commerce is an EDI provider. We've had our SDN products since 2013. We integrate directly to NetSuite, and we have approximately 900 customers that are integrated. Been in the EDI business for a very long time, and happy to be here at Sweet World. Absolutely, we have clients that use your product, so it's good to good to meet you guys in person. What development in the NetSuite world that you've learned about here at Sweet World? What development are you most excited about? I think the AI development. I mean, obviously, it's got a lot of news, you know, coverage. We're excited to see how it might affect our business and and. That's sweet. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of talk about it here at the conference for sure. Yep. So I'm here with John and Holly from Freight Pop. And first of all, tell me what Freight Pop does. So Freight Pop is an enterprise transportation management system that's built within the NetSuite platform. Um, and uh, we essentially streamline the entire logistics process and automate every single mode. So parcel, LTL, full truck load, uh, ocean, air, rail, you name it. So is it a bolt-on to NetSuite or is it built within? It, it, so we actually have a native uh, integration within NetSuite. So we, we have an external integration as well, um, but uh, you can use a fully native uh, integration that lives within the NetSuite platform. Looks like NetSuite, feels like NetSuite, but it's using our technology. Great. Yeah. So what development that you've learned about here at Suite World are you guys most excited about? Well, so they've been talking a lot about sweetness, right? And the way to, uh, I guess, like the the thought behind sweetness and, and being able to unlock that uh, seems like they're they're really pushing AI a lot. I mean, we've, we've been hearing a lot about that, a lot of buzzwords, but it seems like NetSuite's actually putting it to work uh, within their entire, um, all their products, um, all their verticals. Um, and so it's already uh, seeming uh, like it's gonna be really exciting and really impactful, not only for customers, which is fantastic, but also for partners to be able to take advantage of some of that. And uh, yeah, really excited about those announcements. Yeah, very cool. What about you, Ollie? What are you excited about? We're really excited to um, finally have achieved the built for NetSuite status. That's what John was referring to, our um, hybrid integration. So we have both the native integration within the NetSuite platform, like John was saying, and our own like, plug-in with Lights. We can do both. We're really excited about that. We're well, finally part of the team. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very cool stuff. So I'm here with Steven from 3G. Uh, first of all, Steven, tell me about 3G. What does 3G do? Uh, 3G is a transportation software company. We have a tier one cloud transportation management system, as well as in the NetSuite space, we have a product called 3G PaceJet Shipping. Been a NetSuite partner since 2009, have 600 customers, provide parcel services, LTL services, as well as truckload services to a variety of different customers in manufacturing, distribution, retail, warehousing, you name it. If anybody ships anything, generally we have solutions to be able to help. Great. So of all the developments you've learned about here at Sweet World so far, what's the thing that excites you the most? AI is the, the obvious buzzword. Uh, I think with text enhance as well as some of the analytics tools, very interested to see where it goes. I think it's exciting. You can do a lot. Seems like there's going to be a lot of functionality that can be added down the line. I'm interested to see how it pans out, how it's ultimately baked into the system and, and how users will be able to take advantage. Yeah, great. That's yeah, very exciting. Okay, I'm here with Rachel from Braintree here at Sweet World. And Rachel, before I ask you my real question, tell me a little bit about Braintree. Yeah, so oh, Braintree is a payment processing gateway. Um, so we take credit card, we take Apple Pay, Vuba Pay, PayPal, obviously, um, Venmo, local payment methods, all of that. Great. Now, here at Sweet World, what is the development or announcement that you're most excited about? Yeah, about six months ago, we launched a new plugin. Um, so it's NetSuite certified. It's on the Sweet App Store, um, but it 
basically we um, take payment information, we process it via Braintree, via our plugin. Oh, very cool. So I'm here with Kimber and Ben at the NetSuite conference. First of all, tell me what SPS Commerce does. So SPS is the world's largest retail network. So we actually sit helping suppliers, buying organizations, logistics companies all communicate with each other. So you've heard of EDI, we help with order exchange, standardizing, normalizing that. Uh, we help with exchanging important item data that these different organizations throughout the supply chain need, as well as um, sharing analytics data back and forth to make better decisions. Uh, with where their inventory needs to be. Great. So with all the news that's been announced here at Sweet World uh, this week so far, what is it that you're most excited about? We'll start with you, Ben. Yeah, I think yeah, there's so much buzz around AI and you know, some of the specific functionalities allowing NetSuite customers to auto-generate item descriptions or really any text field, I think is going to be really create a lot of efficiencies for NetSuite customers. Uh, also kind of along the data path, the, the growth of the NetSuite analyt analytics warehouse solution has really created a lot of opportunities for companies like us to have unique ways to provide some of the, some of the specified data we have to provide value to customers. So those two things I think are, are help help our industry and help NetSuite customers you know perform better. Great. Good stuff. What would you add to that, Kimber? I would double down on the AI piece. I think it's it's important for companies like NetSuite to lead the way, and and all of their partners are really looking. What's next? How can you help us be better with up and coming trends like AI? Right. Great. Good stuff. So this is really interesting to hear from people that are here at the NetSuite conference to find out what they're most excited about. But I'm curious to hear what you think. If you're a NetSuite user, if you're evaluating NetSuite as a potential option for your ERP system, I'd love to hear what you think of the product. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And for more information and best practices on digital transformations in general, I encourage you to download our 2024 Digital Transformation Report. It's an independent report we publish each year that covers the top 10 systems of the marketplace as well as best practices to make your digital transformation more successful. So be sure to check that out and download that below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. You guys are gonna be famous. I mean, I know this is this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah, you know, we're really looking forward to just. Look. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I stutter all the time, so That's, you, yeah. you can't mess up more than I do. <laughs> um, so I'm here with Nem Nemily. That's <laughs> not e that's okay. not even a name. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks for spending all that time. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, yeah you can't. Not use you this. good. I said you can film me. I didn't say yeah. you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought this was private use. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah.